Hi, my name is Dave. Today I would like to show you a couple of really cute little telescopes. These are nearly identical, uh, close siblings, both made by HOC. Uh, and they were probably from the 1960s or so. They're nearly identical telescopes. Cute little 50 millimeter, 500 millimeter focal length telescopes. One on an Altaz mount and one on an equatorial mount. I think you'll find they have some really wonderful, interesting features. Here's a shot of the nameplate on these scopes. Uh, according to my research, it could be anything, it could mean anything from Hitomi, Hiyoshi, Hino, Hayashi, or Horaguchi. I guess maybe you can take your choice on what that HOC really means. I think you can see that both of these scopes have cute little air-spaced acromats with the tiniest little spacers you could ever imagine. The equatorial mount has a uh, slip-off dew shield like that, but no threads in here. This one has the same slip-off dew shield, but look at this. Threaded plastic, but it is a threaded and slip-off dew shield. It's very unusual for a telescope of this size, 50 millimeter f10, uh, to be on an equatorial mount. Uh, and this cute little equatorial mount is just clever and charming as it could possibly be. Look at that thing, it's gorgeous. Here's how you adjust the latitude. This is not, uh, of course, going to have any real precise adjustments, but it's good enough to give you pretty nice equatorial tracking. Uh, in both of these HOC telescopes, the optics are really good, very, very good. There's a little focuser. I'm not sure if the eyepiece is original, but uh, isn't that just as cute as it can be? There's the uh, counterweight there. <clears throat> Certain amount of friction control on each axis. I don't know why you would need that. Let me show you the assembly of the equatorial. These legs, the feet here have got to be original. I can't believe it. They, see, they seem to be plastic, but they've held up quite well over the years. So that's that. Let's put this guy on here. Counterweight. Whoops. Counterweight. Over here. And there we have it. Here's a close-up look at the equatorial mount. And it's got a cradle so you can loosen it up and reorient the scope and balance it like so. Here's a close-up look at the little finder. Here's how the Altascope stores in its box. There's a place for the legs, everything folds up inside there. Inside here we have a couple of interesting things. This guy here, let me pull it out. That is actually a, an image erecting eyepiece with the variable power. It says it goes from 25 to 60 power. I presume that's with the 22 millimeter eyepiece attached. This eyepiece does detach so that you could presumably use the other eyepieces with that if you wanted to, although it'd be probably way too much power for this little telescope. Let's suppose we'd like to use this telescope for, say, terrestrial viewing. There are a couple of options here. One, this thing has a uh, lock here and you can lift it up and even pull it all the way out if you want to. Nice lock there. 
Uh, it's set up now for terrestrial viewing with the right angle. You, of course, could use it straight through. And you can use it with this device here. That's the image erecting variable power. That eyepiece, it's a 22 millimeter Kellner, was right on there. Now you're set up for use as uh, essentially just a spotting scope. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at these two HOC telescopes. Thank you very much for watching.